Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. We're back in another video. It's Mark the Messenger. This one's gonna be about signs that the devil, Satan, is trying to keep two people apart. And I wanna say this too, this is not only just for like uh, marriages and relationships, it's, uh, it could be also for friendships, uh, family members. Uh, the devil is always trying to divide people together. Now the Bible does say that Christ is coming back, not to bring peace, but to bring a sword. He's coming back to divide the sheep and the goats and the wheat and the tares, okay? So, but the devil also comes, he wants to divide people who are on the narrow path, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. That's what he tries to do. And how he tries to do that, he works through the minds. Now we all know Satan uses demons, demonic spirits, uh, unclean spirits to you know, jump in people who are being disobedient or living a life of willful sin, you know, whatever the case may be. But also the devil could also use people who have demonic strongholds in their mind, okay? And now before, the number one, this is the number one thing too, all right? So the devil tries to deceive, try to break two people apart, guys, with lies. He plants seeds in their minds with demonic strongholds. Look what happened with Jesus and Peter, okay? Jesus was constantly rebuking Peter many times because he even told uh, Peter, a disciple of Christ, to get behind me, Satan, because he knew that Satan jumped through him, okay? And you have a lot of people who say that Christians can't be possessed by demons, they can't be used by demons, which is completely false because the Bible says that in Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 to 45, when an unclean spirit comes out of the man and he goes back to his old ways, seven demons come back into that same man and they're worse than they were in the first state. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Uh, even Christ had to rebuke Peter many times and see Peter was weak. Okay, Peter was weak. And just because someone is weak, that doesn't make them, doesn't make you any better than them because we all have times when we're weak. Okay, the Bible even says when you're weak, you're actually strong. Okay, so that's one thing that the devil likes to do, guys. He likes to plant seeds in the minds of people to plant lies. Uh, and, you know, he even had me, when I first started preaching, about four years ago, people will tell me, you know, Mark, you're too young. And they were just being used uh, be, being used by saying, because I kind of fell into that, oh, you're too young to make a YouTube channel. You're too young to preach the gospel. But Jesus Christ was preaching the, the gospel when he was 12 years old. Okay, when he was, he was 12 years old rebuking and correcting the Pharisees. And I'm pretty sure the Pharisees told him, you know, you're too young to be here. Okay, so you had a lot of people trying to put doubt in me. And if I would have, if I would have believed the lies, the lies of the devil, I wouldn't be even making this video. So that's what the devil could do. He could, you know, plant uh, seeds in someone to, to push fear and doubt. You got people telling me, Mark, you know, be careful uh, pushing fire and brimstone on Satan's kingdom because things could happen to you. Like I've been doing this for four years. Like I'm, I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior for Christ. I'm ready for this. Whoa, I'm ready. You know, so that's what people like to do and understand that they're just being used. When someone's trying to push fear into you, because the Bible says God does not give us a spirit of fear. Okay, He gives us a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. So when people are trying to push doubt and fear and lies, uh, you got to rebuke them. Get behind me, Satan, okay? Yeah, straight up, straight up. The number two thing Satan likes to do to divide people together, you guys, especially when it comes to relationships and marriages, is now it also could be other things too, but it's uh, pride, okay? The devil was the first one with pride. And sometimes when people are wrong, people make mistakes, uh, we ha we operate in pride and we feel like, you know, you know, but we, we made mistakes too, you know? So that would be kind of hypocritical not to forgive someone. And, you know, one person believes that they're right and the other person believes that they're right and no one's taking accountability. No one's, you know, humbling themselves to be like, you know, I was wrong. I should not have done this better. I should not have said this, you know, stuff like that. And if people really put their pride to the side, uh, you know, more people will be, you know, get along together. Relationships will, you know, last longer. Uh, marriages will last, you know, and one thing you got to understand, man, in these last days, not just in these last days, times in general, Satan doesn't like when two people come together. You know, the Bible says what God brings together, let no man separate. So Satan, he likes to go against the world. He likes to do the opposite of what God wants. So he's going to try to separate, you know, you from your loved one. And you got to always understand that it's spiritual warfare. You say prayed up because the devil, he's definitely out here roaming to try to divide people, uh, divide other believers in Christ, to divide the sheep, to divide the wheats. Okay, now like I said, make this very clear that Jesus Christ is coming back to divide the sheep and the goats and the wheat and the tares, the children of God and the children of the saints. He's coming back to do that, but always keep that in mind that when you, when God has brought two people together for the kingdom and to, you know to build together, Satan's gonna try to stop that. And you know, that's the always gonna keep that in mind. The next thing up, and this could also apply for anything, not just relationships and marriages, but when someone's not sober minded. When someone's like, you know, always getting drunk, getting high, uh, doing psychedelic drugs, um, popping pills, you know, you know, that type of stuff, right? The Bible even says to be sober and be watchful because your enemy seeks for someone to devour. So if you have two believers together, right? Because remember, I was, I was saying in the beginning of this video, demonic strongholds. If someone's always opening those type of doors, 
the modern stronghold the more they do that the, they don't understand the, the stronger the stronghold is becoming the more you watch porn the more you masturbate the more you get high the more you open these doors the strong you're building that stronghold inside you and i have a video how to cast out strongholds but to keep it in short you gotta start fasting and praying and you gotta repent from whatever thing whatever door you're opening to allow you know these strongholds in your, in your life repent from anything that you that you know if you have the holy spirit you know what you're doing wrong you know the holy spirit will always teach you all things to let you know that okay this is keeping you in darkness or you know or it'll let you inform you you know you're doing the right thing you know stay strong it'll give you some you know some clarity you know the comforter okay so when someone's always opening those type of doors and i understand guys we make mistakes you know sometimes we're not as strong as other people so don't don't feel like that it's over for you but just understand that if christ could set me free from from sins he can set you free as well too and yes every day is a battle so you're not always going to win the battle every single day but you're not going to be a slave to it no more that's what we should all strive as christians we should always all strive as believers in christ is to no longer be a slave to sin the bible even says and then you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so you have wisdom you have the knowledge you have the understanding god will equip you with certain tools in your spirit to help you uh, to help you know stay on the path to stay on the, on the walk and yes it's going to be hard in the beginning because whenever you give up a sin okay whenever you give up uh break free from the dharma or when you're as in the process sorry as in your process of breaking free from the sin uh, getting free from a demon or demonic stronghold satan's gonna try his hardest to make you stay stuck in the bottom he's a crab in a bucket he's gonna use other people around you you stop smoking uh you stop you know doing that type of stuff right he's gonna use someone to bring it to in your life Okay, uh, maybe let's say for instance, like, let's say that the devil has divided your uh, your relationship with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your wife and your husband, right? And you guys are trying to get back together. He's going to use that friend who is lonely and miserable to try to plant seeds to make you feel like you're not worthy of love, that you're not worthy of, uh, or you're, 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 you know, you're better than her, you're better than him. That's what the devil is going to do, guys. So you got to be have wisdom. And that's why I always push that wisdom. Wisdom gives life to him who has it. So always keep that in the back of your mind. And like I said earlier, is that you want to get rid of the pride. Okay. And like I said, pride, even the Bible says that the pride, the beginning of sin is, is through pride. That's how, that's what caused the devil to do what he was doing. He wanted to be like God. It's all through pride. Okay. So always keep that in mind. Next thing up guys is a lack of knowledge. You know how saying could divide someone. Everything I'm saying in this video is knowledge, knowing about demonic strongholds, knowing about how saying could, you know, use people to destroy someone's life. Uh, use people to, to divide someone together when the people don't have a lack of knowledge they perish you know the bible even says that my people perish for lack of knowledge so you got to be aware of spiritual warfare you got to be aware of that okay i need the full armor of god on the breastplate of righteousness the sword of the spirit the shield of faith the, the helmet of, uh the helmet of salvation the the boots of peace and the belt of truth you got to be aware to have those things on at all times because there is a war against you and that's why most of my videos not all of it but most of my videos i try to push that to inform because a lot of people a lot of christians they, they're unaware of spiritual warfare they're unaware that there's a plot on their life every single day to destroy them to get them off the path that god has placed them on that being the narrow path okay so my people perish for lack of knowledge so we got to start seeking knowledge we got to start seeking wisdom the bible says that the beginning of uh, knowledge the beginning of wisdom uh, is the fear of the Lord. Okay, so having the fear of God in you before, and see, this is why the fear of God is so, I made a live stream on this a couple of days ago. The fear of God is so important because before you sin, before you willfully sin, you know the consequences and you're like, oh, heck no, because I know that me doing this is gonna, you know, maybe lead to my own destruction, lead to my own demise, open doors for the devil to come to destroy my children, destroy my family, destroy what I've been building. Okay, because, you know, the devil comes and still couldn't destroy. So always keep that in the back of your mind that, you know, when you have the fear of God in you, you're going to think twice or maybe even three times before you, you know, before someone tries to tempt you. Because, you know, understand when people are tempting you, that's not them tempting you. It's a spirit behind them tempting you. And we know that God doesn't tempt us. So that's the devil, the devil using people. And that's why it's so important to have wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Okay, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So there's a lot of people who are going through, um, you know, conflict in their family, in their friendships, in their relationships, in their marriage, and it's because they don't have the knowledge. They don't understand that, you know, there are certain things that they're doing, okay, or, or the other person is doing that's causing them to happen, you know, and that's why the fear of God is important. And you, you want to be not only just a hearer of the word and a doer as well, too. You want to apply the Bible to your life because you don't want to be just reading the Bible and not, not applying it in your life, you know, to be sober minded. Uh, you live a life of repentance, you know, and I want to make this very clear too, because people are like, oh, Mark, like, am I going to go to hell because I do this and that? I'm, I, I'm no one to say who's going to hell or heaven. Now, the Bible does say in many verses, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10, 
Uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 says, you know, things that happens when you live that certain lifestyle. But, you know, I'm here to let you guys know that Christ is the way. Okay, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you surrender yourself to him and you have his spirit, because anyone who has who has not the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. So when you have his spirit in him, the one, the man who was without sin, it's going to be a lot easier to fight against sin. Now, are you going to be without sin? Of course not. But it's going to be a lot easier to fight against the flesh. So always keep that in the back of your mind, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys like the whiteboard videos, but sometimes I just like the freestyle. And I like these. I like I like freestyling anymore, but I understand the whiteboard videos are, could be edified into as well. But I hope you guys gained some edification from this video. If you have already, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below and share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.